Hi everyone and welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Philip. I live in Chateau de la Lande. It's a 16th century chateau in the middle of France. And today we're in the kitchen of the chateau. Because in the last video, you saw me use lots of gourds and pumpkins as decoration. And now I've made them into a soup. A nice heavy winter soup inspired by my grandmother's soups for lunch at the chateau. So today I'll be laying the table for lunch. As you can see, there's lots of blue and white in this kitchen. So I'll be laying a beautiful blue and white spot table. Before I can do anything else, I'm gonna clean the table with alcohol. This is the plate rack at the chateau and there's lots of beautiful blue and white plates. I think I'll be laying the table for eight people. So I'm gonna need eight of those. I will be using those as an underplate for the soup bowls and I'll get the soup bowls from the other side. The next thing on our list are these soup bowls by Johnson Brothers. I'm using these napkins which were made from the old fabric of one of the bedrooms. It is fabric walls but was completely blackened over time and then when it was washed it shrunk so much that it couldn't go back into the wall. So it was made into the curtains for this room and also matching napkins. Today I think they'll look just fine as little triangles to the side of the plate. What I've done is I've used these as an underplate. This is the underplate for the soup bowl and then the bowls. It'll be quite a simple lunch. We've gone upstairs into my room to get some of the silver cutlery. I'm debating whether to use the small spoons or the large ones, but I think the large ones will be nicer. So I need eight of these, and I'm gonna get the ladle. Now these are the glasses I wanna use. They are beautiful, they've got these twists in them, and then the light blue base, and I got them at the charity shop. And when I went back the next week, they had the rest of the set. So I've got a huge set of these, and I wanna use them today. It's been about two months since I've used these glasses last, and whether you store your glasses this way around, or this way around in your cupboard, they will accumulate a little bit of dust if you don't use them daily. So in this case, it's on the inside. And before actually putting them on the table, we want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to use a clean cloth to wipe them down. There's no one correct way to lay the table and there's no one correct place for glasses, cutlery, etc. Because it's different per country and also sometimes per decade. I was reading a book on table settings in the 1950s and it said that knife rests were out of fashion by then already. Whereas maybe 10 years prior or 50 years prior, they were the height of fashion. <laughs> so I just try and have fun with it and pick and choose different bits from different eras or countries, etc. And today I'll show you what I've done. As we'll just be having soup and garlic bread, I've placed a large soup spoon next to the plate. Then the napkin goes on the left and there's three glasses. Now, even the use of glasses is different per country. So in the Netherlands, for example, where I'm from, we usually have the big one, the big glass, is for red wine or wine that needs to oxidize the most. And on the smaller glass is for white wine. And then there's obviously a champagne flute behind it. And you might have another glass here that is a water glass. Now in France, they use the big glass that we use for red wine for water. And then the small one for wine, and the champagne flute is the champagne flute. And there's also different positioning. Sometimes it goes uh, in a line, like in a strip like that. But I like the height it gives when it's right there. So again, like I said, there's no one way. Just have fun with it. Whatever you think looks best. I'm really excited to be using this. This is my most recent purchase from Emmaus, the charity shop. And it's a beautiful carafe I bought for one euro. So we're gonna be using that for white wine because today we'll be doing it the French way and French often have wine with lunch. So what we'll be doing is big glasses, water glass, small glasses, wine glass, and then champagne food if anyone wants to have Prosecco or something. I'm really happy with the end result. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video as well, please give it a little like because it'll help with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing and click the notification bell next to the subscribe button because it will notify you as soon as I upload. And I want to thank you all so much for all the lovely support I got from you and lovely comments on my last video. I was really touched by the amount of you who enjoyed my video. Now I'm going to call everyone for lunch. Again, thank you and see you next time.
you've really shot yourself in the foot, Philip, because now everybody is going to expect you to cook all the time. I don't think anyone will, and otherwise, I'll just make another blue garlic. <laughs> <laughs> for a while.